He leaned in very close as if he wanted to kiss me and he was licking his lips and he was staring at my lips and like he wanted to kiss me, but he didn't. And where did this occur? On the elevator. How close did he get to you? Um, he got right in my face. There you hear Jody Arias today uh, on direct, taking the witness stand and describing Travis Alexander as very sexually aggressive toward her, coming on very strong. But I want to go back to Travis Alexander's friend, Taylor Searle. Um, Travis can't speak for himself, but uh, you apparently were told something. Travis told you something about Jody and sex. What was it? Well, Travis, uh, when he was telling me about Jody and uh, her sexual nature, he introduced me to the word nymphomaniac because that's how he described her. He described her as being super aggressive and super addicted to sex and super sex crazed. And so I always assumed that she was the aggressor in all their relationship. It's interesting because we're hearing that painted the exact opposite way by Jody, even though we know in other situations, like after she kills Travis, she goes to Utah. We know she was the sexual aggressor there getting on top of Ryan Burns uh, right after hours, indeed, after she kills Travis Alexander.